WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. It's Monday, 1 p.m. Eastern Time, three hours left to go in the trading day. And we got markets in negative territory, but pretty dramatically off the lows. S&P is negative 31 points, trading at 29.16. We get the NASDAQ right now, negative 97, trading at 8,066. And the Dow, negative 236, trading at 26,267. Dow had been down as much as 500 pre-market in the futures. Dollar index, where are we? Basically flat, up 10 ticks at 97,270. Notes and bonds, higher price and lower yield. 10-year note up 13 ticks. 30-year bond up 21 ticks. Oil down 12 pennies at 61.82, and gold up two dollars at 12.83.30. We'll start things off. Let's jump over the futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow. So there is last night's action on the new news with President Trump tweeting that more tariffs coming on Chinese goods. With that, you have the futures open down about 500 points. We hover right around 26,000 for most of the early morning session. And then right at the opening bell, we trade from 26,000 all the way up to 26,301. And we're just under that level currently trading 26,231. S&P 500, much the same. There's your spike lower on the Sunday night futures open. We hang around that level until the market open, and then we trade from about 28.95, now sitting at 29.15. NASDAQ 100, quite a run from the opening bell. There's your 9.30 bar. We trade from 76.79, up a solid 100 points from that level, reaching 77.86, currently trading 77.43. Crude oil trading higher as well. Crude spiked lower on that news as well. Maybe bringing down the economy, maybe crude, less demand. Nonetheless, from about 3 a.m., we're trading at $60.31. We're now up about a buck 50 from that level, trading 61.84. There's your gold contract, actually spiked higher, as you may expect on the, as the market spiked lower. But nonetheless, you got gold trading at 1283.15. Pretty remarkable that you actually had gold below where it was trading at on Friday, even after that spike on the news. And Euro US dollar trading 112.04. Stay tuned, folks. We got a man Steve Rhodes coming up right now with the Trader's Edge. Then, of course, Dave White with the Power Trading Hour live from 2 till 3. And Tom O'Brien wraps up the trading day live from 3 till 5. Should be an exciting few hours to finish up the trading day. To recap, Dow down 248, NASDAQ down 102, S&Ps down 32. Stay tuned, folks. Steve Rhodes coming up right now.